In this video, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite techniques for presenting a picture. Right, now the first thing we need to do is give ourselves more space around the image. Now I've got the hand tool, so all I have to do is press the Alt or the Option key. That's going to give me the minus zoom tool. Now if you've got any other tool from the toolbox, try pressing spacebar. Now press the Alt or the Option key. That's going to give you the minus, that zooming out tool. Click down and there it is. That's what we want, more space around the image. Next, over to the Layers panel. We're going to duplicate the background layer and we're going to use Command-J or Control-J. That is Command-J or Control-J. There it is, we have now got layer one. This is our live layer, this is the layer we are working on and I'll come back to this in just a moment. Over to the toolbox, we need to make sure we have got the default colors. We want whites to be that background color. So all we have to do is press D on the keyboard. So press D on the keyboard or click on this little icon here. This is also going to restore the default colors. And there it is. White is now the background color and that is important. Next, we're going to pick up the crop tool. Now with the crop tool, yes, we're going to give ourselves a border, a framework using the crop tool. We're going to click down, we're going to drag it over the image like this, down to the bottom. And when we release the crop tool, watch what happens. We get little grab handles to each of the corners, as well as the top, the bottom and the two sides. Now I'm going to come to this grab handle here. And when I bring my cursor over it, you'll notice the way we get a double arrow. Now before you do anything, press and hold down the Alt or the Option key. So hold down Alt or Option and we're going to pull it out into the workspace. And because you're holding down that Alt or Option key, the two sides are coming out equally. We're going to take it to that sort of area. That will do nicely. Next, he says, come back when I'm speaking to you. So I'm just going to use the space bar. Now command or control, popping into that area there will do nicely. Right, don't you love it when that happens? Come into the bottom grab handle. Once again, pressing Alt or Option. Holding down Alt or Option, we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna take it into this position here, releasing your mouse or pen. Now what if you want to give a little bit more space to the bottom? Well, release your mouse or pen, release the Alt or the Option key. So now just click down and pull it down fractionally like that. That will do nicely. Bring your cursor inside. You'll notice the way you get a black arrowhead. Just double click down or click on the green tick. And there it is. There is our framework. There is our border. Let's use command zero, control zero to go to fit on screen. But take a look over here at the layers panel. You will notice that that framework, that border has gone to the background layer. If I switch this off, you'll see we've got the checkerboard background there on layer one. And we're looking through, we can see the white there on our background layer. Notice that we've also taken on white, which is the reason why we had to reset the colors here in the toolbox. Okay, for the next stage, let's give ourselves just a little bit more definition around the image itself. Now to do that, we're going to go to styles. Now with styles from the drop down here, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to scroll up and there it is. We're going to go to drop shadow. Now I'm going to use this one here, which is low. So I'm just going to double click on that. There is our low drop shadow. Right, let's go back over to layers. Now with layers, you'll notice we've now got a little FX icon on our layer one. Now the FX is showing us that the layer style has been applied to this layer. That layer style, of course, is the drop shadow. And if I double click on it, style settings, drop shadow. If you bring your cursor out, you'll notice you've got the move tool. Moving it around, there is our drop shadow. And I'm going to place it directly behind the image like this. Right to size, as you take the size out, what we're doing is we're blurring, we're softening that drop shadow. And as we're blurring it, look at the way it's coming out over the edges of the image, giving us a bit of a 3D look. That looks pretty good like that. Let's come back to the image with our move tool. I'm gonna to click down and I'm gonna move it downwards. I want slightly more uh, drop shadow showing to the bottom than the top. That will do nicely there. Let's click on OK. Next. We're going to put a stroke border around the image itself. To do that, we're going to go to edit. We're going to come down to stroke outline selection. Now, 
the size, the width here, this will depend on the size of the image. I know this size image, four pixels is going to be fine, but you may need to experiment with the width here. So I'm gonna leave this set on four pixels. Color, not sure black is uh, going to be okay. So I'm gonna click in the window. That brings up our color picker. I'm not gonna go for a brilliant white. Instead, I'm gonna bring it down very slightly. Notice the way that that color there changed. Just gonna go for a little bit of an off white. We're now gonna click on okay. Now this is the important thing, location, and I don't mean where the picture was taken, location for the stroke, make sure you select inside, so make sure you select inside. Now inside is going to give us nice sharp corners. If you use center or outside, you're going to get that rounded effect, which doesn't look particularly good. So make sure you select inside. We're now going to click on OK, and there it is. There's that nice stroke border that I was talking about and you can see that sort of sharp corners so there it is that has got to be my favorite way for presenting a picture I first did this technique oh it's many many years ago I did a video on this uh, first of all but I thought I'd just bring it up to date I hope you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe that way you'll get all the new videos as they become available but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care